So in today's video, I want to talk about going long on a call option and then describing how to create an Excel payoff and profit diagrams. So according to Fidelity, a call option is a contract between a buyer and a seller to purchase a certain stock at a certain price up until a defined expiration date. So here you see I've got an exercise or a strike price of $50. And in order to uh, purchase this option, suppose it has a call premium of $10. So what the option will allow you to do is if the stock price goes up above 50, you can buy the stock at $50 instead of the current market price. So you see here I have various stock prices ranging from zero to 100. And I've got calculations for payoff and profit. So the payoff of a call option is the maximum of either zero or the difference between the stock, the current market stock price and the exercise or the strike price. So as you see, up until $50, the, the payoff of the option is worthless. You can't exercise it because the price is below 50. But as soon as the price increases above 50, the payoff increases. The profit is calculated as it, we adjust our payoff by the price or the call premium. So it's the same function, maximum zero uh, or the stock price minus the exercise price or strike price. And then from that, on the outside of the function, we subtract the option price or the call premium. So, for instance, you could see that at $55, you could exercise the option, have a payoff of five, but because you paid $10 for the option, you still technically lose money. So, you don't break even until you have the market price plus the option price, which in this case, 50 plus 10, and that's $60. So, the profit breaks even at zero for this particular type of option. And then you see here, that's highlighted, here's our stock call option diagram. The white solid line demonstrates the payoff, and then the profit is the red dashed line, and it is below the payoff line, and the difference between those two is that call premium. So now I'll demonstrate quickly how to, do, how to get this to work in Excel. So replicating what I just did here. So let's suppose we have a strike. Our strike price is 50. We have our call premium of 10. We're going to have various uh, market stock prices. And we'll calculate payoff and profit. So the market price, we'll just do in increments of five all the way down to 100. So type in zero, five, I like the two, and then with the black cross, at the bottom right, I can drag that down to however far you like, I'll do to 100. The payoff is equal to the maximum of zero comma, the current market price in A4 minus the strike price. And we're gonna anchor that because that's not gonna change. So F4 or dollar sign B, dollar sign one, that's gonna be a hard anchor. And then with the black cross at the bottom right again, I'll send that down. You can see the numbers there. And then the profit is going to be equal to, we can do um, the payoff minus the premium and anchor the premium. Might be an easier way to do it. And then I can send that down. So if you confirm, we do indeed break even at 60. So now what we can do, we'll highlight all the data we have created. Let's insert, let's try a recommended chart. And we see the second chart, the line actually works pretty well for this. So I'll click OK. Let me zoom to this now. So we'll call this our, law, our long all option diagram. And I can change the colors here. Let's make this dash. So I clicked on the line and then right click um, outline dashes. Uh, and then we can edit this however, however you want to. 
in terms of adding labels, axes, etc. So that demonstrates for you how we create these diagrams in Excel. And this is if you are doing a long call. Um, so maybe you're speculating. So an example that Fidelity gives uh, with this is that, you know, some companies have product launches that occur around the same time every year. And you could speculate by buying the call if you think the stock price will appreciate after launch. And it could also, or it could also help you plan ahead because maybe you don't have the money today to invest in the stock, but you want to go ahead and lock in the price today. And then in the future, you will then have the money and then you could uh, buy the stock at that price, assuming, of course, that you have the money and you think that the stock price is going to go up. So that's it for today's video. If you like this, be sure to uh, be sure to like with the like icon below and you can subscribe to the channel. I plan on the uh, next series of videos to be talking about options and specifically next time we'll talk about what happens if you short a call or you sell a call. This was an example of a long call where you buy it. Thanks for watching.